Excuse me. Yeah, it's on point. But in Pata Jam Kidogo too. Yeah. Any sitting as a house on the next floor, it will cost you like 60 times. <laughs> no. And uh, you are watching Radul live yet. It is another Saturday. It's 2 p.m. And we're going to have a conversation about Kenyan sport for one hour. Allow me to introduce to you Monsieur le Président, Eli Kalekwa, Chairman of Sofapaka. Eli, how are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. Hey, those are the only English words you'll speak today. Come on, I know English. <laughs> <laughs> you threatened me. If I make you speak English, you'll storm out. <laughs> um, and uh, allow, uh, in, introducing his translator, former Sofapaka striker, CEO of Arrow Sports, Ronald Okoth. How are you doing? I'm great. Uh, pleasure to be here. Ronald, yeah. you know this is supposed to be a casual show. You're supposed <laughs> to come casually dressed. Yeah, unfortunately, I knew the president was coming. So I had to match him, but uh, it seems that he... There's a dress. one day he dresses down. <laughs> exactly. Oh, one day he dresses <laughs> exactly. down. <laughs> but it's okay, I hear that's your casual as well, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> to each his own, huh? Yeah, true. So, um, Ellie, let me start with you. Uh, because the, what you two have in common, of course, is Sofapaka Football Club. You're the president, you're the chairman of Sofapaka. The first time I heard about Sofapaka, there was this team that has made it into the Kenyan Premier League. I think it was 2009 your debut season in the Kenyan Premier League from the second tier bah! and you won the league with like games to spare but if I can just take you back what made you start a club in Kenya? and you can speak in Kiswahili Ah, oh, thank you Asante <laughs> Asante uh, Asante Sana Caroline Kusamisha Okweli Kitu Yenyeri Nivutia Kwanza Kwanza Club Ni ile kujitolea niliona vijana wanaangamia na nikawa nilikuwa niko hapo nikaanza kuona kama ni vizuri wa vijana tukianza tu kukua kama na vision ya kusema kama tutakuwa ama professional ama kitu gani hapana ilikuwa ni usaidizi because tulianzia ndani ya church so vijana wakaacha wizi Vijana wakacha ukaramusi ile manake means ile mambo ya ukora ukora wengine wakoma robberies hiyo ndio story hatuwezi feature story kwa sababu nakumbuka kuna wengine ambao walikuwa wanarudisha gun na tunazipeleka police station if you don't know that yes yes to that bad. pale pale uh, city park hapo mm -hmm. parkland 
na wavijana wakaanza tukafungua vibanda ya matunda wengine wakaanza uza matunda ukishindwa na kucheza mpira unauza matunda vijana wakawaadhirika kabisa sasa nikakuja kuona kuna kipawa sasa nikarejesa timu kama mchezo from church ndio maana tunaita watoto wa Mungu juu tumezaliwa ndani ya church kwa yes so from there tukaendelea mpaka tukashinda vikombe huko chini tukiwa nation wide vikombe tulianza kushinda even president cup the first kikombe tulishinda tukiwa chini kwa hiyo ligi ya chini mm. yes president cup tulishinda tukiwa chini ambayo ni historia pia tukapanda kwenye ligi kubwa na tukachukua hiyo kubwa kwa hivyo sio sisi wenyewe hatuwezi sema kama hatuna ni ni commitment football ni commitment kupenda na na Mungu Mungu akiingilia kitu chochote unafanya inakuwa mzuri kwa hivyo siwezi jipiga kifua kama ni mimi ama utever ndio uongozi lazima tufanye kazi Mungu atengeneze lakini ni Mungu aliingilia na mpaka sasa hivi Mungu ameanza ingilia yeah I, I, I will take you through the years of Sofa Paka just now because you've You've, you're one of the few clubs who've managed to maintain sponsorship, but you've also had your challenges. I just want to bring Ronald O'Koth into the conversation. Ronald, first and foremost, you're recently retired as a Sofa Paka striker. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, uh, and, and, and probably you can start at the beginning yeah. how you got into football until now yeah. and why you've come to this decision to retire when uh, many of us still feel you have a lot to offer. Yeah, good question. Uh, I think. Uh, First of all, I must look at the, where the journey all began mm -hmm. because uh, I remember I came to Nairobi back then in 2007-8, I think that's when I finished high school. And 2009, that's, that's the year Sofapaka was uh, uh, winning the trophy. And uh, that's when I was starting to find, get some interest in football, especially playing professionally. So when I moved to Nairobi, uh, that's when I had that uh, passion because, I mean, uh, I saw a team like Sofapaka, the way it was being run. And uh, that's, that's why I, to, I told myself maybe I can start maybe pursuing a, a, a career in football. And for the last 13 years, to me, I think uh, God has been so good because I think it's, 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 uh, my, my career has just been progressing. And I think after 13 years, I, I feel contented. And uh, also Sofapaka being one of the clubs that I, all, I always wanted to play for. Back then, and you played for big clubs, not just Sofapaka. Yeah, yeah. Boost, I, boost. In, in fact, in fact yeah, among all the clubs uh, I've played for in the past, I think uh, Sofapaka is the best club I've ever played for. Uh, why am I saying this? Because not not because the president is here, but because I think uh, I don't know if the president knows that. But I think uh, in my 13-year football career, I think it's in Sofapaka that I've been paid the highest amount of money in terms of salary, and even on salary fee. I don't even I don't even know, I, I don't think the president knows that. So among all the clubs I've played for, I think Sofapaka is the club that has paid me the <laughs> an amount that probably never even thought could pay me in football, and I think uh, the president has really played a huge role in terms of my career progression and everything. And so I think after 13 years playing for the club like Sofapaka and also uh, 32 years of age and I also had other things going on, I just felt that, you know, this is probably the right time now again to shift focus onto something else. Uh, and, and this time you're not going to go back because I know you, you've played for other clubs. Yeah. You've, you've played for God Mahia, you've played for... You played for Gormaya. Yeah, Gormaya. You played for was... Madari United. But then when you left Madari, there was two years where you were sort of not playing professional football yeah. until Sofa Paka came calling. It's not going to happen again two years and then you come back. Yeah, no, 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 no. you've made a decision. No, I made, I made a decision because uh, between those two years I was trying to also do some things on the side in terms of uh, school, going to school, uh, mm -hmm. start trying to pursue my papers and all that. So again, I thought um, I, I was so much engaged with my education and all that because I didn't, I didn't have the, quite a lot of time uh, maybe to dedicate to the club, but I think uh, uh, so Paka when they uh, gave me an offer because we, we had been playing a lot of friendly matches against them and I think when the opportunity came calling because I never thought that I'd play for clubs for Paka so definitely I took it uh, with two arms and I just maximized on the opportunity because I knew it was an opportunity that only comes once in a lifetime. I want to send a few shout outs to people who are watching because if I don't then they start texting me and I don't want that to happen. Um, Doreen Raf Faizaj, Min Blessing, Raima Jaka, the old one shout out, Tora Nyamwaya, Sherry Kwezi says, Ndani, uh, Deko Kazola, Nyeri, we are tuned, say hi to Batoto Bamungu. Kazola, you've not yet changed your name, I thought we had an agreement that you were going to get a local name. You know how Kenyans have Deko and Kazola, and why don't they have Ronald and, you know, some Walunga or some local names, eh? 
mean blessing. Carol, we took a francophone country. Yay! <laughs> Your fans earlier. Your fans, yeah. Peter Ngondo, this is a professional cricket player, uh, retired I think. But Toto Bamungu, yes, he says, why did you get rid of Zablon Amanaka when he was captain at that time, I think? Yeah. That's his concern. Yeah, hakuna shida. Zablon alifanya kazi kwa muda wake, tena vizuri sana. Yeah, kwa hivyo, hatuna shida na hea, ya limaliza vizuri, alikuwa defender vizuri. Na alitusaidia kama club, kapsana, alikuwa kifab. All right. Now, um, he's been, um, just now, Ronald was talking about how you've paid him the most money from every club in Kenya. What I want to know is how Sofapaka has managed through the years. Because um, in terms of a fan base, you're not really a big club. But you have managed to attract sponsorship. There's so many things you've done right that over the years you've managed to. Uh, what's the key to that uh, success of running Sofapaka like a professional club? And then go through some of the challenges you've been having. Uh, football kila team kama sana sana pa Kenya, even Europe, mm. kuna challenges kwa ndani ya mpira, kila kitu. Uh, ata kazi yoyota mbao nafanya, challenges ya ziko ziko sana. Lakini, ni kujua kumanage hizo challenge. Kwa sababu, shida zezi kutawala. Ni lazima wana tawala shida. Asa, unapo ingia ndani ya sofa paka. Kama sisi familia. For example, unajua tuko kwa muda mbaya, muda ya COVID-19 ya ambayo watu wamefika wakati yenye situation haiko mzuri wengine watoke kwenye manyumba wengine mambo sio mzuri kifinancial mambo yote lakini mkiwa familia the way mnaweza kula mkiwa familia ndio vile pia family so papa is a part of my family for example unaweza uliza ni nini mnaweza fanya sisi hatuko pale kwa kudhalanyana tuko pale kwa kuweka mambo kwa mstari kwa meza tunakaa chini hii tufanye na muda gani sasa tuna pesa lakini kuna kidogo iko tutaigawanya na muna gani for example wachezaji hata kama bwana uh, CEO ametoka uh, <laughs> hey, CEO I respect you kwa sababu uh, congrats ni kazi mzuri na, na ni lazima uh, kuna wakati nilimtabilia fulani nikamwambia wewe unaenda fa kwa sababu gani kuna vitu zingine niliona ndani mwake ambayo watu wengine wanatafutaga sana na nguvu kwanza ni hard working hiyo lazima ajue hata kama kwa anajua ya pili ako na discipline na discipline ukiwa nayo hakuna kitu hakuna mahali waweze fikia sasa yeye wakati tulikuwa pamoja ndani ya sofa paka anajua secret tuko hapa tumekutana kwa interview tunazungumza sisi wote kwa lugha moja hakuna kitu kidogo amekula kutoka kwa hapo na hakuna kitu kidogo nimekula kutoka kwake lakini kusemesha kweli uma naume anaenda kufaulu maana anafanya sofa paka tumekuwa pamoja ronaldo anachukua ile pesa yenye iko pale kidogo na wenzake tunagawanya kwa the same hata hawa unaona kama for example kuna pesa eh, government imetumia 10000 each you remember list yenye wanafanya sofa paka tuko na wachezaji wengi kushinda ile list yenye government inafanya lakini for example ni mfano tunagawa hiyo pesa na kuna gani mimi nilishtuka mimi mwenyewe mimi eli mwenyewe nilishtuka kwa simu yangu amenitumia pesa siko omba hiyo pesa 7000 shillings each one sasa 10000 banaangalia wale wenyewe wakupata na wenyewe kila mtu anachukua 7000 natumiwa na siku kwa kwa hiyo committee ya kugawanya because mimi sikuage kwa finals kwa pesa kitu yenye iko pale kwa katikati ni kuongea ukweli so like a family yeah? as a family there's a comment here from uh, Rateng Morkich he says uh, Eli Kalekwa is the one man who single-handedly revolutionized how we run football in Kenya Kalekwa normalized players players earning 70,000 and above in a league where 15,000 shillings a month was considered too much Kalekwa normalized paying transfer fees in a world where players were signed for a couple of Uh, soccer balls and a pair of mabati sheets my love gratitude and respect for this man will never wane long live president thank you very much that's uh, that's more or less what you were saying ronald yeah exactly i think what uh, president has done i think and uh, there's even more that he's done that he actually is not saying because mm. if you ask, if you ask a lot of players i think uh, many guys have really you know benefited from him in terms of because in the club he's been like a father to us despite being the president and actually sofa paka means sote pamoja kama familia That's, that's the meaning of sofa paka. 
It's more than actually a football club. We've been like a family. So I think uh, that's what I've been making the club tick because uh, if you go, you, I, I've been telling everybody that I think Sofapaka is it's sort of a different club than, than the rest because it, we, we are more than a family. We're more than, it's, more, it's not just a football club. The, 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 we are more like a family in it because, uh, I mean, everybody's there. We are, we, are, we are with each other through thick and thin. And I think what our president has done over the years, and even me, I'm a witness because uh, uh, some of the suits I'm wearing is because of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to me, I owe a lot of respect to him, a lot of appreciation for everything that he's done for me as a player and also the development in my life and my career and also for the advice now and then because his door is always open for us to reach him out to him. And why did you accept his resignation? Eh, unajua <laughs> kuna kitu anaita promotion. Yeah. Munga kigu promote, mimi ni nani kusema ni seme hapana. Kwa hivyo, yeye ya mepromotiwa na wengine wata promotiwa ni njoo program ya sofapaka. Kujinua, sote pamoja kama familia kwa kufikia azimio. Azimio yake tayari Aisha ingia ndani. In fact, uh, one we're still praising you. We won't praise you for the whole show, but <laughs> as long as the comments are coming in, I will read them. There's one here from uh, Keke Roy. He says, Kalekwa is a moist katumbiek. Hey, Keke Ranayawa. He says, this man professionalized our game at a crucial point when Supersport had just started beaming the local top flight. He guided his team to win her only KPL title in the maiden season. Who does that? Only Kalekwa. A man who sold a player to PSL for 24 million transfer fee. This man is worth, is a worthy Hall of Famer in Kenyan football annals. I respect him for shedding light on the management of our game and uh, professional running of a club. That is from AKK. You brought in big words, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you have yeah. a lot of fans in this yeah. country. Yeah. Um, before uh, I read that comment, we were talking about um, Ronald. And the fact that Ronald, you have taken education seriously. What made you do that? Because we, we, although there is a misconception that our footballers are not educated, I've met so many of them yeah. who've actually gone to school, got their degree, and have uh, professional papers as yeah. they play football. Yeah. But even football itself is a is is is, is a profession. But what made you um, study for a backup plan, basically? Well, uh, I looked at. Uh, uh, the guys who are before us mm -hmm. because we've heard of stories of players you know they need help maybe sometimes harambe is being done and all that and also we find that some some players they've been there but again when they stop playing actually they don't actually have something else to do so i looked at those examples and i told myself maybe i want to do something different uh, because i also realized maybe i'll, I'll not be playing football forever after maybe some few years mm -hmm. I'll now move to, into the next phase of life. And in the next phase of life, definitely, I think education is so vital. And that's why I told myself, uh, maybe I need to maybe do something, uh, maybe go to school and maybe try and uh, do a course, maybe do something that at least can be uh, act as my backup plan. And that's why I, I went to Kenya Methodist University, where I graduated with the Bachelor of Science in Information Science. And uh, I think just uh, like you asked, why did I retire so early? I think after 13 years, 32 years of age, I also thought now this is probably oh, the right oh. time. <laughs> I also, I, no, I, I is not? Yeah. Is it not? Is it, no, 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 is it not? Is it not? <laughs> Baraza, our coach, alikuwa natufungia, ametoka top scholar, miaka ngapi, na akiwa na eji gani? But the Ronald, how can I be to you find your last time up? Nini? Kimachua, yes. But Baraza, Baraza is a superstar. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of Baraza. Yeah. So, sorry, we interrupted you. Yeah, so I just uh, I thought after 13 years, I think that at 32 now, I think this is the right moment to try and also do some of the things that I've always wanted to do on the side because I also have uh, future ambitions of owning a club like our present year. So again, with the right uh, inspiration and everything, I think this is now the right time to start planning for that. So that maybe in the next few years also, we'll be, we'll be having our own football club and also some of the programs that we are doing as Aero Sports, Aero Sports Soccer Academy and all that, things will just be falling into place. Uh, a few comments here. Raima Jaka says, uh, Lukaku, kudos. <laughs> 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 Lukaku, look alike. Uh, Tony Siema says, uh, Eli, I really admire this guy. That's a fan of yours. Uh, Keke Roy, Sierra, please ask Presda how he rates Moise Katumbi. And if he admires his style of management, I think he's a great fan of Kipi Mazembe. You're a fan of Kipi Mazembe? No. Lakini, the owner is my friend. Lakini, me ni vita, ve, ve club Congo ni vita. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Kipi Mazembe. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So how Lakini wanafanya kazi vizuri Kipi Mazembe, yeah. 
Was it it's one of the clubs yeah. that in the Africa in the last in Africa. Like, ten years went yeah. to the club World Cup. Yeah. Mm. Um and we've seen their growth from is it Lubumbashi? Yeah, Lubumbashi, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, the owner has the nini, uh, passion. On a football ni passion. Yeah. Wakati nya kuna passion akuna kit. But it must end because we're going to get out. We're going to study. We're going to kill a kid. And yeah, they 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 pay their players more than to move to Europe. Uh, yeah. They yeah. Do, they do such a professional. Quite a bit, sir. Um. So um, let me read a few more comments. Victor Kinanjui, Radu, thanks again for enlightenment, enlightenment and having passion. I respect Pesda personally. He provides for me fair twice while I was a city star. Well hope. Victor Kinanjui, you don't even know. You are helping people. From other clubs, uh, Rogers of Yambo, great men on set. Uh, Ronald has been a friend, uh, one who supports, encourages, and motivates uh, you along your path. For the president, he's a professional. Pass my regards to my boss. Who's Rogers of Yambo? You know him. Yeah, Rogers is our media no, teacher. Oh. Ah, Rogers. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I know him. I know him. But then he calls you his son. When yeah. I told him I want to interview you together, he said, My son! Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Dunga Matsa says, Congratulations to Ronald for successfully donating over 50 pairs of football boots to under underprivileged children. What was the inspiration behind One Kid, One Pair campaign? Oh, thank you. Uh, one Kid, One Pair campaign is a program that uh, we have under Arrow Sports because Arrow Sports is a community based organization whereby we try and mentor, inspire, and empower the next. Uh, generation of footballers, especially boys and girls who are maybe want to pursue football in the next few years. So as part now, I think we've given I've given out over sixty pairs of football shoes wow. to kids across, and uh, I think we we are, we are just inspiring them in one or the other, just to try and maybe help guide them. Maybe they they might not play professional football in the near future, but at least just showing them the right way, yeah. the right path, and is by giving them those free football shoes, maybe free football kits, and all that, just a way of bringing them together and showing them the way. Just a, a note for our director from Pato here. He says, Okot's mic is Kotini Kiasi. Just uh, have a look at uh, whether Ronald's mic is okay. Um, is anyone else having trouble listening to Ronald? Because he says very valuable things. Just make sure your mic is in the back. Eugene Meso, how come to an Ezra comment in a shame? He's a great fan of Kenyan football, so he's forgiven. Uh, Ochi Weda, ask Ronald Okot how he came up with the name. Low budget Lukaku. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. That's pretty obvious. Actually, it's coach, uh, coach uh, Baraza, uh, uh, if, if you can ask me, you mean as I say, because I will catch my corner, Panga, you dinner, maybe in the cock, I go bedroom. Low budget Lukaku. Lukaku, I say, Lukaku, let that fungia. Because I know Queli, I can figure out a funga. Hey, you know, Commissioner Queli. Kuna, uh, uh, this guy, akona quality zake, vile vile na unaga kwa style ya kwa kwa kucheza, njoo style ya rona. Thank you. Na, na tuka muita hivo hivo, na ika, ika mushika. Yeah. And it's style. Yeah, yeah. Kwa hivyo, ika mushika kapsa. Yeah. Ronald, I just want to take you back to your one pair, one, one, uh, one key, one pair campaign. Tell us that story that uh, when you went to, to uh, Kikomba, because yeah. I actually reposted it on my social media, but I want right. people to hear it from you. What happened that day? I think uh, that, that's the day one kid one pair started. Because uh, on that day I was from training, and then I passed by Gikomba to go and uh, buy a pair of shoes for myself. And while I was buying the shoe, there were two kids standing next to me. They couldn't afford they were, they were the type of shoe that they were admiring, but they couldn't afford it. They only had, I think, uh, 300, 300 shillings with them. So uh, the guy who was selling the shoes was trying to chase them away because, you know, they definitely couldn't afford the shoes. So I, I asked the kids if they like if they love the shoe and they said yes. So I told the guy to give them the, the, the pair of shoes. So I ended up buying for them that pair of shoes. And I think uh, the expression I saw on those kids' faces actually changed my whole life because uh, they were crying, they were screaming, they were telling me all sorts of blessings and all that. So I asked them where they train and they told me they train at Tringara, Peliko. And so I, I told them I'd pay them another visit. So after buying him the shoes, I think uh, that kid, he got home. Uh, told get, told his parents to try and call me because they gave him my number. So the parents called me and thanked me and also I think he gave the coach my number. I, I, in fact, I ended up being called by almost 10 guys from that family just to thank me for buying their kid's shoe. So after one week, I, t I told myself, I, 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 I saw that it's a challenge actually. Many kids don't have uh, football, yes. football boots to play. Yeah. So I, t I told myself maybe I want to start an initiative so that we can give as many kids as we can some football shoes. 
And so I ended up going back to that kid's uh, team and took to them almost uh, 25 pairs. And I think also with your help, uh, you The response me. was overwhelming. Yeah, it was, it was like, it was, hey, the it was, product it was, is amazing. How yeah. much are shoes? Can we donate? Yeah. There's a lady who gave, I think, 6,000 shillings. Yeah, true. She said, how much is a pair? I think it was one five or something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Tell me, I'll buy four mm. pairs. So we, wow. we, we, we ended up uh, gifting the whole team 20, 20 pairs of uh, football boots. And I think that's how just one kid, one pair, one pair grew. As per now, we've given out over 60 pairs of shoes. And wow. we, are, we are still going because our target, maybe you can reach 100 before you know it, 500, before wow. you reach that 1,000 mark. At the end of the day, we'll be changing lives one, one by one. There's someone who's asked me for shoes, and I told them I'll talk to Ronald at the <laughs> No problem. Yeah. And if I have, I can be fit and bold. If yeah. I have, yes. don't inbox me if I have. Mm. Shoes is the expert, but we can partner. We'll see if we can partner on something and get people to buy some more. I'll appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate. I want to get to a bit of uh, serious matters as well, uh, Eli. Kenyan Premier League, there are challenges in the way the Kenyan Premier League is run. Yeah. As a league, it has not had sponsorship. I think there's been, it's not bad to rely on, it was not bad to rely on Sport Pesa, but I think there's been over-reliance yeah. on Sport Pesa. Mm. A league like Kenyan Premier League should have so many sponsors from sodas to juices to washing soap to whatever. What do you think the league as a whole is not doing right? Mm, uh, Caroline, I know that I'm going to call your department of marketing for KPL. Eh? Mm. Uh, for the last uh, two years, unapoangalia vizuri, KPL tulikuwa na shida. Ni kama ule mutu ambao ni mfungwa, ukona limit. KPL is a big institution. Mm -hmm. Yenye ambayo isha jijenga, ni brand ambayo isha jitengeneza. Hasa, kitu yenye liku inatuangusha, si maneno mbili ama tatu. Kumbuka, kibari ya kulani ligi tunaipewa na association. Sa. Kibari ya kulani ligi liku inaisha mwezi ya, inaisha next month, next month. So, hakuna muzami ni yoyote anataka kujuhusisha na wewe kwa sababu anajua hauna, hauna ligi. Sao unaomba muzami ni ya nini. Tunagonga, tunapata watu lakini hatufunguliwa milango kwa sababu natuambia sasa. Nikona garanti gani kama watarenu hizo eh, condition zao zenye liku. Hawa njua liwapatia rusa. Sasa watawapatia tena rusa. Juu FKF liku inatangaza kama itachukua back league Unaona hizo njoo challenge tumepitia Na ikatuma sasa KPL inakuwa haina mzamini Na wale wa, wenye walikuwa wakati super eh, sport pesi litoka Kumbuka hata hiyo pesa Sieti ni pesa mingi sana Bado tulikuwa tunaitaje wazamini wa ingilia Lakini iliku inasaidia club Hakuna pesa ndogo yoyote kwa club Iyo ni Big secret. Hata kama ni pesa ya maji. Amuna mtu mwenye ambaya mewai kupana kudonet maji, water kwa sofapaka. Nikose kumuambia everyone to sofapaka. Ambia mtu fulani na bibi mumuishimi ame tusaidia. Sio kupana ni moyo. Sio tini vitu kubwa sana. Na brand ya KPL iliku imejitengeneza kusemesha ukweli. Na hali tukua tunafikia inabidi wazami ni joba tufuate. Sisi tufuate wazami. Lakini ilifika kiwango enye ambayo Hata some team hazezi kufikia kwa magemu zao. Because hiyo pesa ilikuwa ni amana sana. Si mishahara, haezi kusaidia kulipa mishahara. Because hakuna team ya Premier League ambayo wanaeza lipa hiyo pesa passport ikiwa na sport pesa ikiwa. Ilikuwa ni 600,000. Hawezi learn club na 600,000 a monthly. Hiyo ni pesa enye unaeza saidia, inaeza kusaidia kwa maybe kucheza meche zako. Lakina uta lipa na hazo mishahara. Hata ofisi hawezi kalipa. Ama mambo zingine za technical whatever. Lakini kitu na shukuru mungu ni nini. Mimi always muta nasema eh, eh, association vamerudishiwa league. Vamejirudishia league yao. Ninapo angalia vile kunaenda. Timu ni zile zile. Ni kuweka mikakatano tuwache kugomba na gomba na. Kwa sababu haita tusaidia. Ina affect wale babijana venye kochini. Ina affect mupira ya Kenya in the country. Asa, kitu njikuwa na omba. Kamita wezekana. Kamita wezekana. Watu tuonge luga moja. Haa wazamini tutapata wakua wingi. Ule mwenye amepata mzamini. Tumu congratulate because kwenye kuko zero na one ni tafauti. Mimi for example, personally, nilikuwa affected na fikiru na kumbuka 2016. Eh, nikitafuta kukwenda ambayo kina Ronald Njova likuwa na ingia hapo sofapaka. Nilikuwa affected na association. 
wakitafuta o club license so so ni nani alikuwa na club license Kenya kwa hii club license ni nani alikuwa na hizo condition club gani ambayo iko na stadium yake na iko na facilitation zake hakuna so ni kusema kama nilikuwa naonewa that time lakini Mungu akashuka na katusaidia tukapita pale ya pili njo wale wale wanachukua mchezaji wetu wanampeleka misili colleague wake mwenye alikuwa anacheza naye so unaona hizo zote bana kufrasilate lakini wewe mwenyewe na Mungu wako bado unaendelea tu kazi au katike moyo hii kazi ni jani niko na iko ndefu na kuna makukona mingi sana so unapoangalia lige ya Kenya mpira wa Kenya unaweza songa mbele alongasi watu wote bamekawa yasema tumechoka na mavita na vitu yenye havina maana tutengeneze ball ameleta sponsorship na mshukuru nike kabisa na mcongratulate kwa sababu gani mtu mwenye anakuletea pesa is a part of football kwa maisha mimi for example mimi na betika betika pas kwenye betika betika na muona hawa naniona wazazi kama mimi ni mzazi wao lakini mimi naona kama betika ni mzazi wetu sisi wote na maanisha ni na maanisha ile effort ile kitu anaweka kwenye club inatuma mimi na relax sasa naweza tafuta pesa nikiwa roho yangu iko chini kwa sababu hata kama haitoshi because haitoshi budget yetu yeah. lakini inasaidia kunifikisha samwe hakuna mechi naweza kosa hakuna mchezaji anaweza lala nja ma contract naweza kuziheshimia kwa sababu nina pesa fulani ambayo inatoka hapa unaona karola yeah But you've used a lot of your personal money. So you've used yes, 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 because of passion. Bila passion, unajua football ni big big very big business. Sasa ni kuielewa. Unaona hawa vijana wenye ameanza kusaidia Ronald, amesaidiwa naye amefika mahali kwenye anaanza saidia vijana. Maombi tu yenye hawa vijana watakuwa na muombea itatuma biashara ya Ronald yote inaenda sambamba na itaendelea vizuri. Ya pili hii situation yenyewe tuko ndani unaanza biashara ni kama kulima unalima unaweka mimea so unaomba sasa unaweka mbolea unaweka nini utafika wakati yenyewe utaenda kumimilia maji unaona njo kazi tunafanya sasa hivi kwa Kenya Premier League kwa sababu kuna wakati pia kuvuna unavuna na muna gani do you, you can you imagine kama Kenya tunaweza kuwa na vijana unaangalia Runinga unaona eh uh, kijana ah huyu si alikuwa sofa paka ah ule si ni wa Madari United eh hey, ule ni alikuwa Goromaia huko naona England unaangalia Spain unaona nao wale wa vijana how do you feel as a country how do you feel as a sports mtu mwenye ambaye anajua sports na hata kama kuna kitu umepata utakaa tu u relax na ufurahie kwa sababu wale wa vijana wamefaulu already na ile pesa wanapokea sinarudi bado hapa kwetu kwa country na nini tafanya tasaidia ni tasaidia uchumi watu watapata makazi yenye wamejenga hizi manyumba ni hao hao wa vijana watakuja kwa invest kwa hivyo football is a very big big business so lakini si ya kuvuna sasa hivi mimi sofa paka siangalie mavuno ya sasa hivi maybe watoto ya watoto yetu na Ronald ndio watavuna si mimi tunaweza kuwa tunaongea na Ronald sasa hizi because naona vision yangu na yake ni tofauti hawa ndio hiyo ndio language Hawa ndio wa chama ni wakesho ya sofa paka mimi nitazeeka lakini yeye bado ni kijana si ni kweli mimi tunatoka tuko na zeeka <laughs> hapa kama tu years three years toka tumetoka kwa mpira tuachie na wengine waendelee I think just like um, Mr. President has said uh, whatever he's been doing in the past that's what need to be done it's all about consistency and being persistent at uh, chasing the goals because uh, if you look at a club like Sofapaka to me it's the best uh, uh, football club that is being run in the country i mean in terms of uh, the way it's, uh, the, the 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 way it, it has, the, the setting has been professionalized the model and everything so to me if at all all clubs can take such a such an approach i think uh, we are definitely heading in the right direction plus uh, with the leadership like, like the, the leadership that he, he has in him if at all anybody who's in a certain position can definitely take up uh, the way he's been doing things definitely i think we'll be we'll be heading there but i think uh, sofapaka is actually the best club uh, the way it's being run and at all if anybody who wants to go into leadership in terms of taking a football forward probably should just copy the same model yeah You are a marketing expert. At least I call you a marketing <laughs> expert. Simply because of how you live your life. And I know you've had this conversation several times and 
you're having it the other day with Brahman Chapiane. Yeah. What's the importance of personal branding and marketing to, to both clubs and players? Yeah, I think it, it's so important because uh, uh, as local footballers, uh, it's, it's high time probably we should try and uh, uh, look at uh, that aspect of marketing because uh, most, of, m most players all, all, maybe they just think that football is all about just playing in the football pitch and that's all. But uh, there are other things that maybe you can maximize on. Uh, just uh, the other day, I don't know if the president knows that, but uh, uh, I did an advert for Betika, the company. They called me to do an, an advert with them. And I think uh, it, all, it's, it, was, it, it all came about from the social media. That's why I was playing for Sofa Parker. I was wearing the Betika our jerseys and all that. And so they approached me and they told me, look, we would like to work with you because we've seen your profile on so social media and everything. And to me, that's something that has never happened to me. So I think uh, maybe most players should try and maybe emulate that. Maybe we should try and maybe ensure that we have some professional uh, uh, accounts, maybe what, what we post there, how we act, our discipline, how we behave, how we carry out ourselves, what we say. It, it definitely opens up a lot of doors because currently I'm also working with the Equity Sports, a UK-based organization. I'm their athlete ambassador in Kenya. And uh, to me, some of these programs, to me, they came uh, not just by fluke, but I think uh, the things I've been doing on the side. And uh, last year also you did... You have to prepare yourself for this opportunity. Definitely, you have to prepare for, for, for this opportunity because even last year I did a mentorship with one of these uh, telecommunication organizations. I was doing for them national mentorship. And to me, I don't think... Uh, it's, it's something that is possible. If at all, every player can try and take up the mantle for themselves and try to just maybe be professional because we are our own brands as players. Yeah. We must realize that we can also be professionals. We must be our own brands. And the only way we can get some of these opportunities, the only way... Uh, we can try and maximize on every opportunity that comes our way is the moment we'll actually start respecting ourselves, respecting our skill, and respecting the club that we are working for, the guys who are ahead of us. That's definitely how some of these doors will open. There's yeah. a comment here for you, Ronald. Ochiweida says, uh, when you support the less fortunate, their positive prayers shall bring you more blessing. Uh, thank um, you. Zach Swaweru, hey, Carol, Salimia uh, Kalekwa. Uh, what in his honest opinion what is his honest opinion on the current fkf crop of candidates for the president's seat and is the politics in it really helping the future of kenyan football <laughs> 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 FKF elections that are coming up. no unajua election is iko pale mi kila siku mimi nasemaga uh, kura ni siri ya mtu kwa sababu uh, kama kuna watu wenye hawapende niki mimi njoo nilikuwa mtu wa kwanza ambao simpenda lakini ametuletea pesa mimi sina shida na yeye sasa ask me because mi najua kupata maji ya kupea hawa vijana juu waende kucheza ball mi najua yasho na toa juu ya abcd so muta na kuletea pesa una shida na yeye gani na shida tumekuwa naye ni juu ya ule CEO wake ambaye alienda unaona simudomi so kwa sasa hivi sina ugomvi yoyote yoyote kwa sababu Kenya Premier League ni wale wale Saizi tumeingia kwa association. Wale watu watamchagua wenye wataona mwenye ha, anaona hana maana akose kumpa kura. Sa, ule mwenye atakuja kuuza sera zetu kuzaki kama atatuletea masponsor wengine na halete pesa kwenye mpira ndio tunataka kwa sababu hatuwezi cheza mpira bila pesa. Hiyo ni impossible. It is no football without money. Kivyo vyote. Kwa hivyo sasa mimi kwa sasa hivi Mina ombea viongozi wote na wale wenye ambayo ni wako kwa opposition na wale wenye sisi wenye tuko pale tuungane tufanye kazi pamoja. There's a comment here from Tony Siama Jr. He says uh, I really have to be honest there are clubs we consider big in Kenya but they have been losing players over the years something I haven't seen a lot of at Sofa Parker in fact there's never noise and scandals about this team at least not like the other clubs. What is the secret? All the same, I think from today, I love Sofa Paka. You have a new fan <laughs> Thank today. You. So Thank you very much. Is your new fan. <laughs> ah, Karibu it brings me to yeah. the next question, because despite the fact that uh, Sofa Paka is well run, the players are happy, the outfit is, is, is professional, you don't have fans. What are you doing to try and attract fans? Because it's, it's only Gormaya and AFC Leopards, more or less, maybe it's UFC in the Premier League that actually have fans. No, no, unajua kuna first kwenye nita ku correct kidogo. Mm. To have fans, sijue ni kivipi. Unajua kuna mafans wa stadium, na kuna mafans wa enja ya first stadium. 
biashara ya football haiko biashara ya nyumbani haiko biashara ya kuficha ni biashara iko kwa mwangaza kwa hivyo inamaanisha sisi kama sofa paka tuko na mafans wengi lakini walikuwa wanaogopa before juu ya mambo ya kutupiwa mawe kwa kuingia kwa stadium kwa sababu sana sana wakati tuli win league 209 tulipata fans wengi sana wale wenye lakini wakawa na hofia kuingia kwa stadium kwa sababu walikuwa wanaogopa mavita always kulikuwa kuko mavita na sisi kama uh, unapoangalia sofa paka hatuko kwa dini hatuko kwa ukabila hatuko kwa co- any community sisi ni watoto wa community watoto wa Mungu wenye amba yoyote uwe muislamu uwe mkristo uwe siju unatoka wapi tuna ku respect sana sana lazimu kuwe professional sa u- ukisema hatuna mafans tulikuwa tunafanya na, na kumbuka kuna hiyo kikombe tulikuwa nachezeaga before ilikuwa inaitwa uh, Charity Cup juu ucheze hiyo kikombe ni lazima kuna ile kuvote sasa hatujawahi kuimiss na tumeiweba two times hiyo kikombe sasa ukiniambia sina fans na mimi najua bado tunataka waongezeke wakuwe mingi na wakati watafungua waingie kwenye stadium juu tule tu pesa tudogo tutatusaidia hata tununue maji so inamaanisha eh, eh, tuko na mafans wenyewe lakini wanajificha See my fans. Yes, you must out. come out. You yes. Right that people yes. want to follow yes. clubs that are mm. winning the league. Mm. When is Sofapaka because all this organization we should be seeing Sofapaka winning the league. But you're coming so close but you're not since 2009 you've not won the league again. Tunaendelea kwa zile challenge na tusisahau pia. Unajua to win the league you must have a good players. Na to have a good players ni lazima una increase mambo mengi tofauti. Unaweza uliza kama Ronaldo hapa. Tuko na ile kitu anaita uh, uh, allowance yenye kwa contract. Anaijua. Lakini unaweza uliza Ronald the last game yenye alicheza kwa hii muda yote amekuwa sofa paka. Ni wakati gani ambao amepata hiyo pesa exactly? No. Because of motivation, hiyo allowance always inaendaga double. True not true. Eventually. No, hakuna mtu anakuuliza tu. Unajua ni daba allowance. <laughs> no, no, kwa sababu gani? No, football ni kama kijeshi. Wakati yenye ambayo morale yako iko sawa utafanya kazi vizuri vile nafaa. Lakini you need also to have good product. Good product ni wale wachezaji wazuri. Mchezaji sasa saa hizi amekuwa expensive kusemesha ukweli. Goromaia watu wanaweza kupiga kelele, wafanye nini, imekuwa na wini vikombe. Kwa sababu iko na wachezaji wao wamekuwa wazuri maybe kitabia ingine mi i don't know kwa sababu siwezi ongelea club ingine about discipline ama nini lakini ki individually wachezaji wa Goromaia Goromaia ni timu yenyewe na heshima imekuwa na wachezaji wazuri ndio maana walikuwa na wini vikombe na wakiliweka seriousness wakaembese kwa management wakaembese kwa coaches unaona ukiembese kwa wachezaji coaches kila kitu mambo yote itakuwa mzuri huko mbele sasa saa hizi kwenye tuko nazungumza na wewe tumechoka pia kama sofa paka. Mafani wetu wamechoka. Wanahitaji kikombe. Lakini lazima kukue subira. Kama vile unaona Liverpool ilisubiria lakini wamebeba. Kwa hivyo hatutaki miaka kama ya Liverpool. Sisi hatutaki hiyo age. Sasa tu, tunabaidia kabisa ni ahadi ni deni. Batuulize hapa karibuni. Wacha tu bafungue mpira tu. Tunakania pia sasa tuko na pake. Sasa tuko na pesa. Betika iko pale. Hey, basi mkikombe takosekana na muna gani? Excuse. Yes. Hakuna excuse. Eh, hey, we are coming. Uh, Tell them we are coming. Look at the camera. Ah, to tunakuja. Hakuna mtu tunaogopa. Here's an interesting uh, question for you Ronald from Judy Basharia. I think you know her. Yeah. Does Ronald have any plans of taking up a seat in our sports organizations? Ever care? Let me have had a few uh, <laughs> <laughs> Set the record straight. I, I think those those are future ambitions. Uh, you you must dream big because I normally say you, if you want to see some change you must be the change that you want to see. So definitely not now but uh, maybe in the future aspirations again with this blessing uh, we'll definitely go for those uh, those seats. You but, can imagine yeah. nikiona kijana wangu iko pale to any position any good position yeah. I'll be very much happy. <laughs> yeah. Ah uh, any support. Hata kama ni akumovea sa coach nitabeba. <laughs> I think a few questions here about how you scout Keke Roy maybe now talk about scouting as a total of Bamungu. Yeah. This Ronald Zak, Musa Mude, Idrisa Rajab, Musa, 
Bob Bugalia, Patrick Agogo, and many, many others. How do you find these gems? Eh, eh, kusemesha ukweli, eh, amenikumbusha hiyo kikosi. Hiyo kikosi ilikuwa ni kikosi ya kuotea moto mbali. Eh, kusipokuwa eh, ukitaka wachezaji wazuri ni lazima unakuwa na wale watu mnasaidiana lazima kuwe mchezaji unamjua vizuri na unajua capacity zake ni gani ni nini impact gani ataleta kwenye timu na ukiangalia ukiwa na good product always lose angalia kama kama mchezaji kama Fisto Fisto Abdulaziz alikuja anatoka so, eh, Burundi anakuja Kenya unaangalia mpira alikuwa anacheza hakukua mtu agukawia na wengine na wengine kina Obadia from Zimbabwe anakuja tu for few wakati kidogo baadaye ananunulika na kukasau hiyo ndio football ndio football ni watu kujisaidia sasa tutajisaidia na mwanaga na ufanye kazi vizuri kwa hivyo lazima ukwe na good product ukwe na ile team yenye we mwenyewe kama chama ni hauko hata coach unaweza kupanga ukiwa huko kwa usingizi unajua kikosi fulani ni fulani 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 atacheza pasi fulani nafanye ndio vile nafanya kwa sababu sasa ukiwa na wachezaji wazuri watajulikana na juba anafanya vizuri yeah. kwa hivyo tuna wale watu wenye tuko huku na huku na coach tunasaidiana kuangalia ni nani ambaye anaweza leta impact mpya kwa sofa paka yeah. si, si decision yangu lakini kuwa na wasaidia wale watu wa technical kuwa mimi na wasaidia yeah. I talked I talked to the president and we've been talking I, I think I'll still be part of the club but I'm maybe as an ambassador yeah. because uh, even though I'm not in the playing unit but I still be a support of the club I'll still be involved in different ways I mean supporting the club and all that and I think uh, the club is ready to go for the title next season so guys should expect big things from the club <laughs> Yeah. Let me ask you about broadcasting because since SuperSport left, uh, uh, I mean, what was the value of, of being billed that time versus now when you're not even sure what you're doing is going to be live or yeah. not? Yeah. How has the lack of a permanent broadcast sponsor affected uh, the league as a whole? Uh, unajua uh, kila siku siasa ikiwa mingi kuna vitu zingine zenye ambazo zingilia vizuri. Uh, kwa sababu unaona SuperSport ilikuwa ni kitu mimi siangalie time of money. Angalia for example Gormaye ameuza wachezaji wangapi? Ni wengi juu ya runinga. Sa wakati una perform vizuri unaenda kwenye Champions League, unaenda kucheza hiyo michezo unaonekana. Sasa na TV inamulika wachezaji. Sasa wakati hakuna TV league yenyewe ina TV ni league ngumu. Sikudanganye ni league ngumu. Semesha ukweli kusema eh, wakuone watambue eh, nani hiyo kipawa yako wajue talent yako iko na muna gani si rahisi inamaanisha TV ni kitu ya muhimu sana tunaomba hata hao wenyewe wanaleta hii pesa batafute pia ya TV tafute TV gani yenyewe ambayo itakuja tuanze kweli kabisa ile TV ya ukweli yeah what are your thoughts on that broadcasting I, I I think uh, we've seen the value of broadcasting in the recent past we've seen players moving out to different leagues and uh, lacking maybe uh, a, a broadcasting partner for a league. It, it definitely uh, dealt a big blow to the league because again uh, as players you definitely need the, the your, your videos maybe because uh, probably if you have an aspirations to go and play in different club or a different continent then the, the scouts or maybe the coach or the manager they'll be asking for your CV in terms of even a video mm -hmm. but if you don't have such it definitely becomes hard for them even to spot you so hopefully maybe just like the president has said in the maybe uh, coming next season maybe the seasons to come i hopefully maybe we'll be having a broadcasting partner back into a league so that we can just have the vibrance back to the league yeah in, in your consultancy for sofapaka would you have them with fans as well help them in recruiting fans yeah without a doubt i think uh, anything the president will say you definitely have to do because we've reached a point where when you get a sponsor like betika betika are the ones who almost come and tell you i'm giving you this much or a, a sponsor comes and tells you I'm, give, I'm giving you this much and as a club you don't have so much bargaining power if you don't have the fans you see someone like gorma here if they could just get their act together they walk in and they say we have this many fans so that 30 million you want to give staki nataka 60. you know but you reached a point where the bargaining power is with the wrong person it's with person sponsoring you as opposed to with the club eh uh, unajua 
eh, hii mambo ya sponsorship eh, ni mambo yenye iko very much complicated 2012 to, eh, 2010 tulikuwa tuko na Portland eh, unapoangalia wakati yenye tulikuwa na Portland tulianza na 12 million do you know how much do, wakati tulikuwa na super sport balikuwa na onesha value ambayo Gormaya kama wale wafani wenyewe wanaingia kwenye stadium. It's not enough. It's not enough. Gormaya ni timu yenyewe ilizaliwa mu, wakati yenyewe mimi sijazaliwa. Sijakuwa. So kuna utaratibu ya kufikia maneno lakini haimaanishe kama hiyo njo gufahuru sana upande yetu hapana. Wakati walikuwa natupatia 12 million. I remember kwa ripoti fulani nilitoka South Africa tulileta expert kuangalia valuation value ya ile pesa yenyewe ambayo wanatupatia na value nini. Walitengeneza mm-hmm. more than 500 million. So what I mean si eti ni ule fana mbali enda pale. Bao wanataka kuuza cement. Biashara yao ni kuuza cement. Mm-hmm. So wakati yenyewe tulikuwa na super sport. We angalia hiyo hiyo kitu ni this way. Wakati tumeweka banners hata kama kuna size hiyo hakuna fans do you think zile kampuni zinaweka pang banners pale as make money that is football football is not only ile bidding ndani ya stadium wana bet no watu wana bet ni wale wenye huko kwa runinga wanaangalia eh hey, naweza fanya hivi na ni faulu so any business yoyote unafanya kuna valuation betika si wajinga kusema tukue nao tufanye nao kazi this is hii ni mwaka ya tano kuna faida zao zenyewe wanapata pale. Na usifikirie wanaweza kuja sofa paka watuambie tunawapatia hii hii ndio tume decide. No, kuna discussion. Because hat, ndio hatuna pesa lakini hatuko disparate. Kuna zingine company tunakataa offer. Yeah. Right, right now your sponsorship from Betika is uh, it's 70? It's 70 for 2 years. 70 million. Yes, for two years. yes, yes. That's about 35 million a season. 38 uh, so 500. Yes. Mm. It, it goes up by a percentage. Yes. 10 10 10%. 10%. So how much does it cost you? What are your costs? 62 million. 62 million per season. Yes. So you're getting 38? Yeah. And you still have to look for I don't know. I'm not that fast yes. in math. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Something yes. million. Mm. Na sasa hivi Mungu anatusaidia tumepata kidogo hiyo 80 million imeondoka kesho mwingine wa TV alete ingine kama 8 ama 10 million hiyo hiyo mambo imeondoka sasa kesho kutwa league iko na size ya kusponsor kama mingi sana club iko na size ya kusponsor mingi sana remember last season tulipatana tu, make hata tulikuwa prepared kuchukua league let me tell you something pesa league inaenda inaenda matana hivi you remember wakati tunapata sponsor ambao walikuwa ni sponsor wa, kutoka sijui Asia hawa fake hawa living trade living trade tukaweka kwa bana si nini nini wametukubalia that something million that 6 million hey, my friend yasho ni toka nilisha jipanga vizuri nimepanga mambo yangu mambo yote kakuwa bure tukakaa tena tukaona hawa ni wakora tukawafukuza wakati tumefukuza tumerudi chini because ni kama tumeanzirilia hawa lipoteza muda yetu kwa bure sasa so, ni kama uko sasa na sponsor mbili ukiwa na sponsor mbili ume relax wachezaji watapokea vizuri familia zao zitafurahi end of the day mtu ambaye anafurahia ni nani ni wale wote wenyewe wanafanya kazi kwa hiyo family juu inatokana hapa inaenda this side lakini wakati yenye hamuna wachezaji utakutana mnachukua wachezaji hawana experience utakutana mnachukua wale wachezaji ambayo mnataka kulipa mishahara ya chini sasa so, ule mchezaji mzuri aishajiuza brand yake jina yake ajajiuza lazima spend kwa hivyo inamaanisha football pesa binatembea pamoja kama tv itakuwa mafane wakue mimi yoyote ambaye anaeletea maji kuna watu watu wazuri wa roho safi wanakujaga kwa timu wanasema presa This is one million patia vijana true not true true this one i don't need no. si taki kuweka hiyo pesa nda kuita kuja na wewe milioni yetu moja iko hapa 
mtafanya na mna gani na mimi naondoka kwa hiyo wao true mimi naache naondoka au wanajua vi, kama watanikumbuka na mimi niwekee mafuta hiyo ni roho safi yao lakini kila kitu kwetu ni transparency iko pale chini kwa meza hakuna kitu tunaweka hivi kwa giza hapana yeah the comments here i'm mm. not going to read it word for word because i might get in trouble with god maria mm. this is uh, from Eugene Meso. if you want to go and read it yourself in the <laughs> comment section but he's basically asking if you can consult for god maria <laughs> and show them how to organize their club you don't have to answer that um nesty ds dunga mata says ask friends that to talk about the john avere situation What happened with that? Eh, 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 nita, 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 nita kuna mambo mawili ambao umeongelea hapo. I respect kwanza Goromaya. I respect my senior uh, Rashiel, my chairman. I respect him 100%. This guy to win league kwa Kenya Premier League miaka 2 na fatana is not a joke. Is not a joke. Usikamatie tichisi atotake ama tunajifanya sijui ni nini na nini. No. Tunajaribu lakini hatufikie. Wale wenye wanafikia haitakikane tukue na roho kusema ti hawajafanya kazi ama amekoa favor. No, you can't favor mamu to Monday to Sunday. No, come on. Mm-hmm. Gorumaia imefanya kazi yake vira ambaye inafana official wake. Kitu yenyewe naweza kuongelea kuhusu John Avire ni moja. John Avire alitoka Sofapaka. Vile story yake ilikuwa nyinyi wote mnaijua, country yote inaijua tumekuwa surprise last week hawa wajamaa wanatoa approach cause bali tuuliza kama anaweza kupatia hiyo provision uh, uh, ITC akapewa hasa ni kusema ni kijana wetu hatutaki aikae bila kucheza mpira ni kama tunakokota huku na wale wanakokota huku na wanakokotea nini because hawaja invest kwa kesi mchezaji wao sasa sisi tumechukua John Avire kwa sasa hivi tuna discuss na hawa watu kuna kaofa fulani wanapana lakini mimi siko interested na pesa sana yenye wana propose niko interested na percentage what is the next transfer because hiyo timu pia kwenye anaenda haina pesa tusidanganyane timu iko na uwezo hapana uwezo pia sao ni timu yenye ambao wana struggle ki financial so kuna vile walikuwa na banaendelea kutu propose na mimi naona tuta, tutakubaliana kwa sababu gani kwa sababu end of the day huyu mchezaji anaumia nataendelea kuumia hatutaka endelee kuumia because tunamupenda so kuna vile tunaendelea kuzungumuza au achukue percentage kwa next transfer yenyewe ya kwenda sisi percentage yeah na kitu kidogo ya replacement hiyo haizi kosa obviously <laughs> because still ni business yeah a few comments here for you otiweda says eli is very passionate big respect to him uh, jeremy tendwa kalekwa is right we need a broadcast sponsor Uh, Eugene Meso transparency kuna 1 million hapa <laughs> he's quoting you um and uh, yeah what you wonder says transparency kwa president iko juu kuliko ya federation uh, so good on you um Ronald since you're here tell us about RO sports what exactly is RO sports and what else will you be doing uh thank you uh, RO sports uh, just my initials Ronald Koth sports but uh, I abbreviated it RO sports We are a community based organization uh, whereby we try and mentor inspire and uh, empower the next generation of athletes because uh, I looked at uh, especially at the grassroots a lot of kids girls and boys are having a lot of challenges in terms of maybe getting engaged in sports so we are just trying to find maybe ways and means whereby we can attract them to try and engage in football specifically so some of the things that we are trying to do we are trying to help them get uh, sponsorship and endorsement uh, uh, deals we are trying to help them get uh, sports scholarships if at all we can get in touch with that we are trying also to get uh, help them get teams for example maybe if i have uh, a kid who might think is so talented there i can maybe call the coach and maybe try and ask the coach to invite him out over for a tryout if mm-hmm. he's good maybe they can sign him we also trying to help uh, Uh, players maybe help in terms of transition from football what do you want to do next we also try and help them uh, in terms of uh, financial and business advisory we help them to sit with maybe professionals in those fields to try and advise them in terms of how they can budget their money if they want to go into business we uh, for example a specific business that you want to go to we look for you a professional in that specific business to sit down with you and help you take you just through how you can try and plan yourself so basically we are just trying to ensure that uh, we develop a different type of athlete 
whether it's a girl, whether it's a boy, and uh, hopefully even we even have our own ambitions of building our own sports complex maybe in the next, oh. so maybe even 10, no matter how long it will take. Yeah. yeah, definitely. We love one of a kind, our sports complex. So, you know, we just we just have some big plans and we know that if, if at all we are consistent, we have all the faith. Uh, I mean, everything is possible. You're basically doing the work of Kefua. <laughs> <laughs> But it sounds like you're basically going to get, but how will you make money? Because at the end of the day, you have to make money. It's good to give back, Yeah. but there are bills to pay. Yeah, good, good, good question. I think uh, if in any business, uh, definitely you must make money, but uh, you, you can't expect to make money if you're not doing things the right way. Mm. No matter how long it will take you to get there, you must mm. do things in the right way mm. so that eventually you'll get all the money. So, for example, maybe if you're working with a certain king, maybe with 10 years, if at all we can help him in the next maybe 5, 17 years, or well, this kid will even play professional football. And by the time he'll be playing professional football, definitely, as Arrow Sports will be getting something in return. Mm. Maybe if this kid, hopefully, maybe he doesn't, he decides to pursue another career, maybe he becomes a doctor, he becomes a teacher, at least he'll be earning something. And definitely, at some point, he'll be coming through for us, maybe buying a few kits, mm. buying a few shoes. So, supporting the next generation. Supporting yeah. the next generation, exactly. The same mm. thing, I think, uh, also, uh, I went through, and at least I feel I'm in a position, maybe I, not, I might not be able to help much, but the little I can, at least, I'm helping somebody else. If, if yeah. you, what would be your vision for Kenyan football? Where would you like to see Kenyan football? And maybe I'm taking you to, you said you'll run for these offices later, in future. I don't know what future is. Uh, in, 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 is future. No, in, in future. But what would you come. like to see in Kenyan football and a Kenyan Premier League, lower tier leagues, players? I think, and I'll ask you the same question. I think we, I'd just like to see what we've been seeing in elite leagues. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the real past, in the team, I think the president has been telling us one thing, you know, you're my sons. I'd like to see you guys live a better life, live a decent life. I'd like to see you guys, you know, live a dream. You people should drive cars. You people should live in decent houses. He, he's been telling us that. I think that's also the same vision, something I'd like to see in our football. We'd like to see players. Can, that, you, can you see it happening? Yeah, it, 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 should, it should definitely happen if we have uh, the right, you know, the right vision, if we have the right guys, at least to uh, help us walk through that path. But everything is possible. Uh, if at all, we are consistent in terms of uh, chasing up, ch chasing that goal. But uh, it might take a long time. It might not be us, it might not be, it, but it might, Probably even be our, our sons or maybe our, our daughters who will enjoy those fruits. Why me? I'm impatient. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah. not, not to put you on the spot, Ronald, mm -hmm. but do you think we have the right management running our football, both from a KPL standpoint and from an FKF standpoint? Although KPL are outgoing. Well, uh, for me, okay. I, I think uh, for me, basically, uh, I, I can't really complain much because, again, where I was. I didn't really lack that much. You don't want to burn any bridges. Yeah, so to me, <laughs> to, 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 to me, I think uh, the president really covered that for us well. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if we, we had any problem, <laughs> I think it's the one we, we have been bugging with calls every now and then. So for us, uh, uh, I can't really say you much about that. It's okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> Ellie, what is your vision? Where would you like to see Kenyan football? Kuna tafauti, kuona mahali kwenye nataka kuona football ya Kenya imefikia na eh, eh, vision yangu vision yangu kama sofapaka tuseme vision ya sofapaka tuko na program zenye tulikuwa tumeset kwa muda ya 10 years eh, 15 years na 20 years unapoangalia vizuri tuko na program ya kujenga stadium tuko na program ya kujenga academy tuko na program ya kujenga hospital Tuko na program ni mambo mengi sana yenye iko fasi moja nafikiri yeye anajua hiyo program na tulikuwa tunaomba udongo tulikuwa tunahitaji kama 200 acres ya watu wasaidizi waje tusaidiane hasa eh, Mungu ni mwema eh, udongo tushapata sasa na hiyo kitu njoo tulikuwa tunawakia mpaka kwa sasa hivi sasa udongo tumepata kitu na subiri ni nini tunasubiri sasa wale program tuweke program za wale wenye watakuja kutusaidia because tunataka Kenya kuna talent kwanza tunataka watu wanakuja wanatoka Burundi wanatoka Congo wanatoka Rwanda East Africa mzima Tanzania wanakuja boarding ya football academy Kenya Sofapaka football academy Kenya wanakuja kujifunza mambo ya mpira education iko pale boarding iko pale 
tutakuwa na makocha kutoka nje tutakuwa tuko na uwezo ya kukuwa na every equipment hiyo njo program ya sofa paka kwanza hii ni maybe naweza sema naweza tuko, tuko miaka kumi kwa, kwenye Kenya Premier League ama kumi na moja whatever sasa mimi na Jimaji ni tukifikisha miaka ishirini ama ishirini na mbili tuko na stadium yetu ambayo iko set si stadium zile zenye ile stadium yenye iko na qualification zote si stadium kama Kasarani hapana si stadium kama nani eh, Nyayo Stadium ama Machakos no ni stadium yenye itakuwa iko na facilitation kwa gisi ba professional kutoka Irob Irob wanapasha kuja hapa kujitayarisha matayarisho yao true hizo eh, facilitation zetu kwa hivyo mimi nafikiri Kenya kwa East Africa ni capital ya East Africa kwa mambo mengi tofauti hata kwa talent lakini inatakikana tukue na viongozi wenye wame kagua wamejua kama hiyo talent iko kama true sports sport peke yake true e soka hii mpira yenye na chezwa mpira yenye na gongwa huku mwingine na gonga this side inaweza saidia vijana wetu na wajisaidie na wasaidie familia zao na wasaidie country yao hata kujuana na kufanya maneno mengi zaidi ya mahali kwenye tuko yeah so, but by the looks of it so papa is going to be the model club i mean it's already a model club people look to sofapaka as the organized club but i wish you all the best in that uh, just a few more comments and then we have to wind up time, yeah. time is up mohammed abubakar says uh, so much respect for ronald okol uh, his passion for the game is so true i wish him all the best with these noble projects oh, thank you uh, mohammed is, is a sports journalist Eugene, they would have waited that question. He asked the guests who they support for FKF president. <laughs> They're in the sports. They naturally avoided that question. John Ndugire says Kalekwa is the one person who brought the new shift in matter of football in Kenya, high paying packages to players and transfer fees. Keep the fire on President Kalekwa, Kenya football nomad. So um we're actually done with our one hour, but before we go you were telling me that you're a karateka. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black belt. Yeah, before 1989. He knows. You've had a black belt since 1989. Yes. Yes, I do. When I was in school I reached blue and then yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do. I do. I do. Okay, that's I how do. you keep fit. Huh? No, no, not fit. Sports. Oh, I used to play with them. Football. football. Mm -hmm. uh, nafanya mazoezi yangu kina ki, ki, ya kinafsi na hasa unajua sasa nilipata si nikwambia nilipataga injury 226 mm. ilikuwa ni ndani ya karate hii sasa nienda cooperative wa South Africa eh, mm. C5 eh, ikakuwa ni problem lakini saa hizi nisharudiria eh, kama kuna eh, can I show something I don't know how cameras can take it so mm. the cameras wait enough no no, no. Okay, so for example Iko no, too far, no, no, I'm here. For example, Iko. Hey. 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 Thank you for coming. Um, Ronald, if somebody wants to find uh, RO Sports, just tell us how they can find you. Uh, we are on all social media circles. I mean, just, just RO Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Yeah. Or Ronald Okoth himself. Yeah, or on my page, is Ronald Okoth. Yeah. You are being disturbed here by your fans. Eh? <laughs> yeah. uh, and Ellie, so for Baka, very well run social media platform. I wish more clubs can emulate that. To copile, to, to copile. It's, it's it's marketing, it's self-marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you for honoring my invitation and uh, keep up the good work with Sofa Paka. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the future holds. Yeah. Got my ear. Sofa Paka said they're coming for you <laughs> next season. They're doing an arsenal next yeah. season. <laughs> they're, they have more chance of actually taking the title than Arsenal doing right now. But I wish you all the best. And thank, thank you. you guys for watching every week. And uh, I forgot to give out airtime. I'll give out airtime before the end of the day. But thanks for watching. And we'll see you next week again for another edition of uh, Radul Live. Thank you.